Welcome to the session of DevOps. In this session, uh, we will try to understand about the bash scripting or shell scripting. Now, bash scripting or shell scripting is very, very important because uh, with the Linux default script or a shell you will get is the bash. And in that bash shell, you have a lot of things to be seen with that. Now, what is a shell? So, let us talk about that. Okay. So, shell is a small program which will help a user to interact with the operating system. Good. So, there are a lot of different, different shells are available. Bin bash or bin shell, this is the Boreen or Bon shell or the Boreen or Bon advanced shell. Then you will have C shell, TCSS shell and so on. So, we are going to learn about the bash shell. Now, okay, we understood what is a shell, but why we want to use shell? Why we want to learn shell scripting? Why shell scripting? Okay, so basically you are a DevOps engineer and the primary functionality of the DevOps engineer is to do the automation. So, automation, automation, automation is your keyword and that is what you will do in the real time. So, what you will do? You will do the automation. Now, what kind of automation? So, you will do the OS level automation, application level automation and so on. You will do the infrastructure automation and many more. So, let us talk about that. So, what we can do? Let us say for example, you will go and you will take, a, you can have a backup script to take the backups. You can go for mass user creation. So, let us say you want to create 100 users and distribute the keys to the different users. So, you can immediately do and use with the shell scripting. Then you can go with the data collection. You can use for various type of data collections, data crunching with the shell scripting. And you will do the operations with the monitoring. So, if you want to do the system monitoring, you can go with that. But the primary purpose of the shell scripting is OS level automation. Now, why I said OS level automation? Because if somebody asks me the question, hey, can be the shell scripting written for uh, accounting package or can we write an accounting software with the shell scripting? Of course, yes, you can do that. But that is not the purpose of the shell scripting. Shell scripting is primarily focusing on system level automation, OS level automation. So, that is where our prime focus will. Now, what things we are going to cover in that? So, we are going to cover in that. What are the basics like how to start? What are the permissions of the uh, script and uh, uh, how to uh, work along with that? What is the extensions? All those nitty gritties and basics detail we will learn. Then we will learn about variables, different type of variables and so on. Then we will go and we will talk about the conditions like if conditions or a case statement and so on. Then we will talk about the different type of test like a file test, string test, number test, logical test and so on. Then we will cover a real time examples that what you can do with the shell scripting. Later on, we will go and cover some looping aspects like while loop, for loop, until loop and so on. We will also talk about the shell variables and important aspects like what is the exit status and uh, what are the passing arguments, uh, passing value by arguments and so on. So, a lot of ground we are covering with the shell scripting in the sense that you will able to go and work with the shell scripting to do the OS level automation. Now, let us see some fundamentals things. Now, first question can ask in the interview that hey, can I run my bash script? Can I run my bash script in C shell or vice versa? Now, the answer is no, you will not able to do that. So, it is like speaking different different languages. So, definitely you will not able to 
run your bash script in the C language or C shell with the bash. Now, why? Because what is the difference then? What is the difference between these shell? Simple, simple, simple difference is that the syntax that means a style how their functions or how the logic may be written. So, let us understand that. So, let us talk about the bash. So, we will go with the bash and uh, we can say hey I want to go with the bash and uh, I will write something like that. I will say hey if I will go with the bracket condition and then I will go with the then. Later on I will say hey go with the if the condition is true execute this block I will say command 1 and command 2. Now, this is how it is written in the bash. Now, if you want to see in the shell or in the C, so what will happen? You will have a different style, you will have a different different style there. So, let me see that if I can make that. So, I will go here, I will go and will show here. Now, when you are going, I will say this dot sh, let us say, and I will write in the C shell. I will say if, and then I will go with the condition, and here we can see that I will use the curly braces. Again, I will say if condition is true, execute this, I will go with the command 1 and I will go with the command 2 and then I will say fi. Now, we can see the difference. Uh, let me go back and uh, let me make that easy for you to visualize so that you will be able to grasp it quickly saying that hey Sunil. So, basically I have divided that screen into different different area and you will be able to see that. So, this is how you will have the difference. So, this is like a bash and if I go here, uh, this is like a, so here is I have made the typo, here we go. So, looks like this is how we will go with that. So, now we can see here in the bash we are writing a square brackets, but in the C language it possibly we are going with the curly brace, uh, round bracket and then if I go with the if and fi. Now, somebody say hey that is the really fi, yes that is an fi. So, this is not a typo. That is what is the difference you will be able to see here. So, one is the going with the square bracket and one is going with the round bracket and one is going with the if and fi and one is going with the curly braces start and the curly braces end. And this is how you will write the script in the different different shells. Good. Now, you will have another important question in the interview. So, let me come out of this. So, I will exit out of that and I will go with that. I will just close that. Good. Now, we understand the difference. Now, let us say uh, what should be my extension? What should be my extension? So, generally the extension is recommended my script, but you can also give like my script dot bash my script dot uh, sh oh sorry my script dot csh and so on. You can go easily with that and but my script without extension is also valid. This is also valid. That means in Linux extensions are not mandatory. That means without extensions also it will go with the shell scripting. It will understand that this is the shell script and it will execute it as a shell script. So, extensions are not mandatory. Now, there are a lot of interesting funds and factors with uh, bash scripting. So, those aspects we are going to learn with our shell scripting. So, let us recap that what we will try to learn in our shell scripting. In the nutshell, we are going to use the shell script for operating system level automation and for that you need to go along with that. Now, in this there is another advantage for learning the shell script. Basically, if you learn the shell script it is like a 60 to 70 percent of the python language you are ready to learn. That means, you already know now the python language once you learn the shell scripting. There are minor differences that you need to understand and then bravo you will able to work with the python. So, what we will suggest directly do not jump to the python scripting first understand the basics nitty gritty of the Linux shell scripting. Once you are able to understand you will get the better advantage. So, what is the advantage number one operating system level automation number two parallel learn other language 
okay, parallelly learn other language and once you have that you will have a better control on the operating system. So, do join us with our sessions, we are going very 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 deep down on these sessions of the DevOps. So, hope you enjoyed this session. My name is Sunil Gadgil, I have 18 years of experience in IT industry and last 6 years I am working on DevOps practices. So, thanks for watching these videos, take care and have a nice time, bye bye.